everybody. A few weeks ago, I picked up these three boxes of 2015 Donruss at the flea market, and I'm going to keep one for myself to open up right now. I'm going to give one away to you. All you have to do to comment, you can see the end of the video for more details, and I'm going to sell one on eBay. So I got to pick one to open up right now. Um, I don't know. Let's go with... <sighs> Let's go with the middle one. So inside this box, there are 24 packs and there are eight cards per pack inside here. And we are looking for autograph cards. Those are the main things I want. Autograph cards. Uh, also, there are some relics in here. There are three guaranteed different autograph inserts, including signature series, production line, and preferred pairings. So let's do it. Let's uh, open this up and hopefully find some really decent hits in here all right so that's the inside of the box you can see the packs right there this is what they look like a lot of people will kind of feel the hobby packs and look for the hits that way uh, for example this pack is thin this pack is thick so I would assume this pack has a relic in it but uh, what they do to kind of combat the people feeling the packs is they'll they will put spacers in here or filler cards that are thicker uh, so you think you have a relic but you actually just have a big piece of cardboard like uh, let's start with these two you would think these two would be relics but uh, usually at least most of the time they're not so here's our first pack oh we have a nice Chris sale on the top check this one out Chris sale dominator card and that's number four in the set, it looks like. Really nice. Uh, sunny Gray. And then we have, there's that Spacer card that I just mentioned. Then we have a numbered, press proof Johnny Cueto right there. Check that out. That is numbered out of 299, number 226. That's really nice. That is a nice looking card. And then the rest of the cards, Strasburg, Hayward, Albert Pujols. Uh, Jacob Yellsbury and David Wright, who just played his last game. Here's the other thick pack that I just picked up off the very top of the box. Get another spacer out of here, or possibly a relic. On top we have, looks like a Justin Upton long ball leaders card, uh, Johnny Cueto Elite. There's our spacer. And then we have uh, James Loney, he doesn't play anymore, Carpenter, Justin Verlander. Corey Kluber, Tulo, and Seth Smith. All right, let's just get to these. Uh, I'll try to open these up as quickly as possible and get to those autographs and those hits. This is a nice looking card on the top here. Uh, Manny Machado, back when he was with the Baltimore Orioles, now making some noise in the playoffs with the Dodgers. The Brewers are in the NLCS. It looks like the Dodgers are not far behind. Brandon Belt, Junior Lake. I am predicting um, an Astros versus Brewers World Series. I actually predicted that before this, the uh, playoffs even started. I realized I didn't even put a video out about it. But I'm predicting that the Astros win over the Brewers and the Astros repeat as the World Series champions. Here's another press proof card. Dalton Pompey. It is also numbered out of 199. You can see it right there. Dalton Pompey rookie card press proof. That is a nice card. Jose Abreu. Miguel Cabrera. And then our base cards are Edwin Encarnacion, Clayton Kershaw, Eric Hosmer, Todd Frazier, and Jake Arrieta. Some people don't like the uh, Don Russ releases because they don't have an official license, so they don't have the players' um, logos and stuff on there, but I don't mind it at all. I, th I think they're pretty nice looking. Masahiro Tanaka right there. This pack looks like it doesn't have anything too interesting in it. Brantley, uh, Adam Eaton, Mike Trout. Never mind. There is something interesting in here. A Mike Trout card. Mike Trout, of course, one of my favorite players. He's number 100 in the set. Uh, a lot of card companies would do that over the years. They would give uh, the 100th card to the best player in the game. Oh, look at this card. This is a nice numbered card. Number, what is that? 13 out of 40. And it is cut in a nice Q 
key fashion there. I'm not sure what this is called. Um, it's number eight. And it is a Corey Kluber. Um, that's a nice low numbered card there. Donruss Elite. And then we have Reimer Liriano. There's our autograph, Kenny's Vargas. Okay, Kenny's Vargas from the Twins. He was released by the Twins, if I um, am not mistaken, and then picked back up like a day or two later. I'm not sure where he is right now. I'm going to have to research that. Kenny's Vargas has a lot of power. I've caught a few of his home run balls in batting practice over the past couple of years. Um, so that is our first hit. Real quick, Frank Thomas, Chris Tillman, Nelly Cruz, Chase Utley, and Scott Casimir. All right, so one hit down. That was the like third pack down on the top right side. Anybody ever like go straight for the bottom of the box whenever you were picking packs when you were little? I always used to dig in there and look uh, at the bottom of the box. I always thought like the top packs were always terrible for some reason. I guess just superstition. That's just the way I did things when I was a little kid. Let's find a relic. I want to find a relic now. This pack feels a little thicker. This one might be a relic or it might just be another spacer card. We'll see about that. There's a Giancarlo Diamond King on top. It is pretty nice. And then a Chris Sale. Oh, here's our relic. We got it. It is a Bat Kings Hanley Ramirez game used bat. Hanley Ramirez has had a really impressive major league career. Um, I'm not sure if he is still going to play. He went home midway through the season. Uh, hasn't latched on with another team yet. He's just kind of enjoying uh, his family right now. So we'll see if he comes back and plays again. But he definitely had a really nice career if that was it for him. And this is a nice addition to my collection there. Hanley Ramirez bat relic. I'm going to put that aside with the Vargas. So there is one hit in here left to find. And both of those hits were kind of near the top. So maybe the last hit will be at the bottom. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping it's another autograph that is our final hit. I do tend to like the autographs a little bit more than the relics. Um, there's a Freeman Victor Martinez who just played his final game in his major league career. Posey, Bumgarner, Dustin Pedroia, Joe Maurer, who also is likely done with his major league career. Uh, and Ryan Howard. In that pack. Next up, we have a rated rookie on top, Reimer Liriano. Uh, his career is not taken off. Mike Fultonavich rookie card. That is a nice looking one. That's back when he was with the Astros. And then the rest of it, we got Zimmerman, Bautista, Dickerson, who's on the Pirates now, Billy Hamilton, Alex Gordon, and Victor Martinez round out that pack. Keep this going here. Looking for one more autograph. There's a Bryce Harper. Saw a Bryce Harper at the flea market today. It was a 2012 Bowman. And the guy wanted three bucks for it. I almost bought it, but I passed on it. Kind of felt like I should have got it. But I looked on eBay and it's selling for like two to three bucks with shipping. Here's a nice David Ortiz, which I just dropped. Luckily, didn't ruin it. It's a David Ortiz press proof. And it is numbered 71 out of 99. A lot of you are David Ortiz fans, judging by the fan mail that I get. Uh, a lot of people are always asking for David Ortiz. Um, so whenever I go to card shows, I always pick up some David Ortiz cards to send out to fans. I'll have another fan mail um, video coming up on Friday. I already have like 15 more packages to open. Okay, our next pack, Josh Donaldson, Felix Hernandez. Diamond Kings, Dustin Pedroia, hot off the press. Um, not numbered or anything like that. Still pretty nice. And then the base cards, R.A. Dickey, Chris Carter. Should I even be showing these? Carlos Gomez and Matt Kemp. I think some people just care about the hits and don't really care about the base cards. Uh, some people, when they buy boxes, they just leave all the base cards on the counter, apparently, and just leave the store with their autographs and relics. That, I would never do that. I like the base cards. 
Um, I have like 600,000 cards out in my garage and boxes. There's a sale, Ventura, who passed away, unfortunately, and Max Scherzer. Still looking for that last hit. Um, I'm thinking it might be another relic. Let's do a relic pack here. This one feels pretty thick. And on top, we have a nice Ken Griffey Jr. card. And then a Jared Weaver. Um, there's our filler space, so that was a dud pack. And then Matt Adams, Kyle Seeger, Alex Wood, Patrick Corbin, Danny Santana, and Jose Fernandez. Also, another guy who passed away. Jose Fernandez, rest in peace. On top, we have George Springer from the Astros. And then Ichiro. That is a nice card there, grandstand. There it is. That is our final hit. It is a John Lester game used jersey. John Lester, possible Hall of Famer, has decent stats, and he has made quite a name for himself in the postseason over the years, and that seems to be the difference with Hall of Fame voters. Do you think John Lester is going to get into the Hall of Fame? He still probably has a couple good years left. Uh, that's his game used jersey right there. That is a nice looking card. There's the back of it. So those are our three hits. And we're only about done with half the box. Uh, the rest of the cards, Hunter Pence, Chris Davis, uh, Giancarlo Stanton, John Lester again, and Masahiro Tanaka. So these would be called cold packs because they are unlikely to have an autograph or a hit because we already got everything out of that. You got to watch the cold packs um, sometimes what will happen is um, some dishonest sellers will take these and they'll stack them into a box and sell these packs, um, making you think that you're going to get a, an autograph or something when, when really all of the good stuff has already been taken out. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Let's just open them up. There's still so many packs left. Um, and if I didn't open these up, we would have missed out on this Anthony Ronaldo and this Yasmani Tomas. Whoa! And we would have missed out on Javier Baez, rated rookie. This is actually um, Baez's rookie year. It is numbered out of 750, 479 out of 750. That is a really nice card. Javi Baez, rated rookie card there. That is nice. Good thing I decided to open these packs up. Uh, the rest of them, Kevin Kiermaier, Xander Bogarts, um, and nothing else really great in there. Maybe we'll get another relic. Has anyone ever opened these boxes before and pulled like four or five hits out? Let me know. Um, this is another dud. Um, Tony Gwynn, Ryan Sandberg, Julio Tehran, Freddie Freeman, Brett Garner, Phil Hughes in that pack. Could probably finish these ones off pretty quickly. On the top of this one, we have a nice Kenny's Vargas. He was a hot rookie back in the day. Everybody thought he was going to be a really decent player. Never really panned out to be the guy I thought he was. I thought he was going to turn into maybe like a 30 home run bat, um, but it didn't happen with him. George Springer, Wheeler, and Lou Croy. We're getting down to the end here. Oh, Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn, who was on the front of the box. This is his all-time hits card, and it is number three in the set. That is a nice card. Uh, Jose Abreu, another spacer. And then we also have some of these. Uh, Bryce Harper, who looks like he's pitching in that uh, particular photo. That's a nice card. Odor Altuve, one of the best players in the game. Morneau, K-Rod, and D. Gordon. And now these ones are thin. It'd be nice to get another autograph. Uh, we have a Jock Peterson and Cespedes. And then some base cards. Mike Piazza, uh, Rendon, Brian Dozier, Henderson Alvarez, Miguel Cabrera and Carlos Santana in that pack. In this pack, we have Patrick Corbin. This is another numbered card out of 341. 123 out of 341, which was his earned run average in 2014. It's a nice Patrick Corbin. And Mike Trout. Mike Trout grandstand card. Uh, the rest of this stuff, we have Pablo Sandoval, Frank Robinson. I always like how Don Russ throws it back and puts some older players in there. For those of us that collected cards back in the day. All right, we have just a couple packs left. 
Looks like we have another Vargas rated rookie card, and then a Wei Yin Chen, and then the rest of these are just some base cards. Pete Rose, that's not bad. George Brett, Alexi Ramirez, Rizzo, David Price, who got shelled in the Yankees Red Sox game yesterday, and Andrew McCutcheon with his dreads. Ever notice that as soon as he cut his dreads, he kind of went downhill? I love Andrew McCutcheon. I'm rooting for him. He had a single off the green monster yesterday. All right, here we go. This is a nice numbered card out of 302 to commemorate his batting average. Uh, Jose Altuve, numbered 97 out of 302. We also have a Giancarlo grandstand card and then Ernie Banks. Bo Jackson, Nolan Arenado, Aroldis Chapman, Zach Granke, and Salvi Perez. I remember Bo Jackson was all the rage back in the late 80s. All the rage. His rookie cards were a hot commodity back then. And this is our final pack. On top, we have Brandon Finnegan. And then Bryce Harper. Grandstand. Oh, and Mariana Rivera. Which, I don't know if this is a variation or not, but it has no color in it. Still pretty cool. And the rest of the cards. Ricky Henderson. Marcel Ozuna. Jared Weaver. Flipping back and forth, David Robertson and Matt Harvey. So that is everything I got. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap it up right here. That box was really fun to open. There's a lot of good hits in there, a lot of numbered stuff, uh, a lot of autographs and um, relics, obviously. You saw that there's a guaranteed three per box, which is really nice. Uh, those boxes I got for $35 each at the flea market, which was a steal because usually they go for around $50 or more on eBay. Like I said, I am going to sell one of those unopened boxes on eBay. I'm going to give one away, which I'll tell you in a second how to win. And these cards right here, I'm going to put these on eBay and see if anybody wants them. If not, they are going in my personal collection. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I have three videos from flea markets from this weekend. Went to flea markets on Saturday and Sunday. Those will be coming up this week. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I will see you later. Okay, everybody, the giveaway for the month of October to be given away November 1st is this Donruss 2015 Factory Sealed uh, Hobby Box. There are a guaranteed three hits in here, autographs and relics. Uh, you might find some really good stuff in here. All you have to do to win this box is simply comment on each video. The more you comment, the more entries you have. And I'll choose one finalist per video that I post throughout the month of October to be in a raffle on November 1st to win this. I'm going to give you guys some choice this month. If you don't want this, you can also choose a 2018 top set. I did buy two of those. I gave one away last month. So you can pick this instead of that. Or you can pick the September giveaway um, that was given away... September 1st, a Jacob deGrom $125 jersey. I have large, extra large, and double X, brand new, never worn. I bought a whole bunch of them a long time ago before he was good, and now he's the Cy Young in the National League. So to win this, it's simple. All you have to do is watch my videos, subscribe, like the videos, and comment as much as you can. The more comments, the better for your entries. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and see you later.